Hey guys, I'm Amarat and today we shall talk about the minimap creation. As you can see, I got my new custom zone, or rather it's this uh, family or one, but it doesn't matter, it's going to serve its purpose. I do not have minimap for it. And let's say that I want to get that fixed. So, how to do it? Uh, first of all, what is going to be super useful is Nugget Qt. You can use old Nugget SDL as well, uh, but uh, there is far difference in their orthographic view. I'm going to show it to you. Uh, on Nugget SDL, you wouldn't see modules. You would see just terrain and textures on it and shading, but that would be it. Uh, in Qt, you can see modules as well in that orthographic view. Uh, so your minimap is going to look fairly blitz-like, which is great. Now, uh, there are a couple of quirks to orthographic view in Nugget as well, and uh, you should be aware of them. First of all, if you are very low, very close to terrain, under terrain and under modules, when you switch to orthographic view, you can see that everything that is above the camera of our original position is black or cut out and missing. And uh, you can possibly exploit this as a feature and as a bug, uh, but uh, it can be fairly annoying. Also, when you go up further away, you can see those small modules disappearing. In fairly business-like way, it behaves, I don't know whether in exactly the same way, but in very similar game way in the game as well. Uh, the issue is that if we go so uh, far away from ADT that those models disappear and go to orthographic view, those models are gone. You cannot see those rocks here and those torch and those brazers. When I go closer, go to orthographic view, rocks and brazers are here no matter how far I zoom out in my orthographic view. So that is something to be aware of. Uh, you may be able to exploit it to your advantage, but uh, more often than not, it is going to be just a uh, nuisance. So we are here in Nugget, uh, we are in orthographic view, and this is something that we are going to use as our minimap. What is useful is to reduce your brush radius to zero so it doesn't obstruct your vision. And now uh, turn your grid on, and the only thing you never need to, to consider now is uh, whether you want to make uh, minimap files with 512 pixels or 256 pixels width and height. Uh, up to you really. Uh, I would say that 256 should do fine and it is something that Blizzard has been using all the time. Uh, I'm using 512 simply because I want to be able to use those files for vault map creation as well and there I want to have higher resolution to make my job a little bit easier. So zoom out a little bit so we are able to see more than one ADT so you don't have to do this uh, that many times. And uh, if you are going to go with 256 with my full HD screen, I could be screenshotting uh, eight ADTs, uh, eight ADTs instead of uh, just two. So it would be much more effective but it would be smaller and in a little bit lower quality as well. So, print screen, uh, I've got one drive, so it immediately saves it. Hide the grid without moving your camera, print screen again. Uh, I would do this on every single place on my map, so I would have all of my ADTs screenshotted like this, with grid, without grid. And after that, you can close Nugget, we are not, uh, we do not need it anymore. Uh, now, we will just open those two files over each other. So I've got those two screenshots, which are the same, just the top one does, has grid on it and uh, the bottom one doesn't. And what you can do now is just select one ADT like this into the middle of the green line. Just select it with your marquee tool. display the top uh, layer control C and we can create a sorry and we can create a new file or a new image 512 by 512 or we could just crop the image here doesn't really matter and just make it fit and what also happens when you copy it somewhere else you can see that there are lines which are semi-transparent around so what I do is just with Ctrl Alt, 
and dragging the layer I just make a couple of copies uh, to make it go away so this is our single minimap image now we can just save it as BLP I've got BLP extension in my Photoshop so I can just save it like this and uh, the number of IDT was 2724 uh, it doesn't matter how you name it you can use any name you want uh, I use map name and uh, coordinates of that ADT just uh, to be able to have some system in it so it isn't chaos. So in my case Media 2724 because that's uh, the numbering of that ADT and just save it. If you don't have BLP extension for Photoshop which is in my tool pack uh, you can just save it as PNG and then convert it to BLP up to you really. After that is saved I do not need those tools. Uh, we've got PLP here and then there is config file we are going to need as well. Where to find it? It is, to be concrete, in textures, in, in patch, in textures, in minimap directory, uh, in please like patches somewhere you would find md5 translate trs and this is file we need to edit now. So this file we need to open it is text config file and uh, what you can see here that there is always there name of map and then there is name of maps uh, back, uh, backslash map id dot blp and the name of file and this is for every single ADT in the map so let's say that you were going to make completely new map in that case, you would just copy one there, my map, and just for every single ADT in it, you would make my map, map, ID, and some name of a BLP file with minimap file. And you would just need to copy it like this for every single ADT. Uh, in your map and just going on something going on so you get the idea uh, this white space here isn't actually space it is it is a tab key so to make this space tab key you are done or you can copy it from different line uh, anyway uh, I'm using Sternwind map I already have my minimap for most of ADTs I just don't have minimap for this single one uh, so what we are going to do is just add that one, it was 27.24 and the name was Meteor 27.24 just to make sure that it is completely fitting and now we can just save it, close it. Uh, and that's it right because now we can put our BLP file into the uh, into the patch we can update our MB5 translate uh, and we can go to the game and just prove that it works now and you can see the minimap and it is fitting now one thing to be aware of uh, whenever you are on ADT close to the edge of the map so let's say that uh, I got invisible wall here but uh, if you are up here at the edge of the map minimap would be glitching out and disappearing anyway so you if you want to have minimap always perfectly working I recommend you to always have this one buffer circle of ADTs you are not really using and which are not really accessible to the players which is around your map uh, which makes uh, sure that the minimap works because otherwise it could be glitching out and it could be disappearing for example if i were to go to one of my dev zones uh, right now there is minimap but what will sometimes happen is that you can see that it is already somehow glitching out disappearing reappearing and so on so uh, that is going to happen if you are at the edge of your map uh, even if you have minimap uh, set up Just to go into main 
into my main zone. You can see that I've got minimap done for it. And you can see modos there, you can see water there. It is very blitz like minimap. And I actually use that minimap for making vort map as well. That is something I'm going to show you in another video. But that is what you can do with this as well. And this is what that minimap looks like when it is put together like a puzzle. So that's it, guys. I hope this was useful to you. Uh, thanks for watching and happy modding.